hi and welcome to this video so I don't really have much to say as usual this is going to be some kind of Arabic makeup inspired look uh, and as you can see I'm already wearing the look and I've, I'm filming things after I've already filmed the video so yeah let's just jump into it so I've already done my eyebrows and I've also primed the T-zone on my face and now I'm going to start off taking the Clinique All About Eyes Concealer and I'm going to put that all over my eyelids Then taking a beauty blender and just blending that out and as you can see I'm using a concealer that's quite a bit lighter than my skin tone right now but that's just to make the eyeshadow colors pop later then I'm taking the MAC eyeshadow in charcoal brown matte And I'm taking that on a blending brush and I'm going to put that uh, all in over my crease but also a little bit above my crease. And this is gonna be our transition color. Also going to take some down in the corner here. So I'm also going to take a darker brown and I'm going to use this one uh, which is like a very cold dark brown and this one is in the Juvia's palette, palette, the Nubian and you don't need to have this palette for this look because I'm only going to use that one shadow so just go for a cold dark brown shadow. I'm going to use a somewhat thinner brush for that color. Then going back to that same blending brush and blending that out. Just putting some in the outer corner also.
then going back to that concealer again I'm just going to put some on the center of the eyelid and looking up and creating an outline for a cut crease Just taking some kind of concealer brush, I'm going to blend this out and also try to create somewhat of a uh, defined line, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm taking the colorful matte color from Sephora in the color Scented Candle. And I'm also taking a flat brush and I'm just going to press that color on to the concealer that we just put down. I'm also going to put some Fix Plus, just like a little bit, to pick up some more of this color. The color is quite pigmented, but it's just that the formula is kind of dry, and I like it to be a little bit more smooth, if that makes sense. Don't forget to get the inner corner. I hope you can see now, but it's not a, a cut crease. It's more or less like a pink going into a brown. I'm just going to go back to that MAC Charcoal Brown and I'm just going to define the crease just a little bit more. And also just defining the outer corner a little bit more, making it a little bit more smoky. Now going over to liquid eyeliner, I'm going to do a quite dramatic wing and this is the Sephora liquid eyeliner in uh, just black. Just 
starting off by just lining the eye then in the corner of my eye I'm just going to make a line and extend it somewhat upwards but not too much And then coming back from that line into the eyeliner again. I'm going to try to not make it too dramatic either. We don't want to go Amy Winehouse on this look. So now just filling this in. Then I'm just going to reconnect that into the rest of the eyeliner. It's easier to do this if you look down in the mirror like I'm doing right now. I'm now going to do the rest of my face before I finish my eyes because I think that's easier. So I'm taking the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector and I'm going to conceal my under eyes. But this is a corrector so we're going to use this one first and then we're going to take concealer. With clean fingers I just put this under my under eye. I'm taking my Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser and also if you want to use foundation use that now I'm not going to use foundation today only concealer I'm basically just concealing my T-zone and also a little bit on the cheeks. Now taking a smaller concealer brush and the Dermacol, I'm just going to take that and also conceal my under eye but I'm just going to put that more precisely uh, on where I have some indentions because this one is a little bit lighter, not lighter in formula, I mean the color. I'm 
just looking slightly down to see where the indention is, where the shadow falls. Also going to conceal this a little bit under be underneath the wing. Going to contour my face with the Jordana Sculpting Go in the color medium. I'm going to contour my nose with that same uh, color we used before and a slightly tilted brush. Then I'm going to use the Isadora bronzing powder and I'm just going to put that on top of the other powder I just put on my nose just because this one is a little bit too cold so I'm just going to warm it up a little bit Then I'm taking the Maybelline concealer and I'm going to put that on the sides, not covering the line we just did completely, but more or less just connecting the cheek with the nose, if that makes sense. So sort of around here. And blending this out, being careful to not blending the contour also.
Then I'm just wiping my Beauty Blender off on my hand and then I'm just going to carefully blend the other contour also. But not too much because we don't want to take it away completely. I'm just taking some more of my banana powder and I'm going to set the sides. And when that sits there, I'm also going to bronze my cheeks. Same bronze that we used as contour on the nose. Now going back to the eyes, I'm going to curl my eyelashes and put on some fake eyelashes, but I'm doing that off camera. Okay, so the lashes I used were of Eyler and they're called the Most Wanted, my favorites. Then I also just filled in my lips with the NYX lip pencil in the color Sandstorm. And I also put on some mascara. And then I also took that same MAC eyeshadow and just put a little bit underneath the lower eye lash line and I also put on some gloss this gloss actually has no color just on that lip liner and now I'm going to take the Urban Decay glide on eye pencil 20, 24 7 glide eye glide on eye pencil in the color zero and I'm going to line my lower lash line This is not extremely pigmented, so I'm just taking a black eyeshadow. You can use whatever eyeshadow you want that's black, and mine is from L'Oreal. And I'm just going to take a small little brush like this, and I'm going to put that on the eyeliner. And I would do this on a, on a pigmented black eyeliner also because this just kind of sets it and it makes it last much longer. Also just gonna switch eyeliner to this Stila Smudge Pot which is much more durable in the eye area I would say. I'm going to take that on a small brush and I'm going to line the inner corner. Just also did a slight little flick in the what's it called? Mm. Well, you know this part of the eye, just to make it look more feline. And that's the finished look you guys there's literally no one watching this but whatever um, thank you so much for watching and if you are watching this don't forget to like and subscribe